All right, welcome to my early NBA Blacktop Ballers Bundle gameplay and review. So as you can see, Epic Games has gifted me all the brand new NBA skins, and I'm going to show you some early access content. These come out tomorrow, April 29th, in the item shop. So again, shout out to Epic Games for sending me these early. I am an Epic partner in the Epic Partner program, and sometimes they do send access to skins early. So what can we expect in the shop, and how much will they be? So first of all, there's two customizable base outfits, a female and then a male. So each skin individually is $1,200 a piece, and they all come with a ton of customization. Now, in addition, there is a reactive back bling called the Baller Stick, and it says at halftime he throws floppers in the stands. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, he does not have any edit styles, but it looks like his eyes could be the reactivity. You can see they're wide-eyed right there, and then they go down a little bit right there. So I don't know. We'll find that out for sure, though. For a pickaxe, we've got the Ballers Basher. That is actually really cool. A chain net with the officially licensed NBA ball. Again, we'll check that out. This is going to be 800 V-Bucks. I don't know if I mentioned, but this one's 400. So 400 V-Bucks, 800 V-Bucks. We've also got this brand new emote called Dunk It. Wow, a reverse two-handed slam. Not to be confused with Dunk On Em, which is also a great one. Here it is one more time, Dunk It. The hoop has rockets on it. That's actually pretty sick. So that's going to be 500 V-Bucks. And then you can get a bundle with everything for 2,400 V-Bucks. Now, you're also supposed to get some sprays, but I don't see those currently. So that's what you can anticipate for tomorrow, April 29th, in the item shop. Let's see how customizable these are. Now, obviously, they're all cell shaded with the anime effect. And I know a lot of people don't like that, but we'll just have to see how these look. So let me just show you all the characters first. We have Assist Maven. Always play to win. Then we've got Board Crasher, shoot for the top. We've got Court Commander. It looks like everyone has a basketball hat on. It just depends on the style, like this one's obviously backwards. This is the Court Controller. We've got the Finesse Forward. Then the Layup Legend. And the Trey Specialist, three-point threat right there. The Shot Caller. The Rebound Warrior. And then lastly, the Post Patroller. So it looks like only two of them have a forward-facing hat. The Board Crasher and then the Court Commander. Everyone else has a backwards hat. So pick whichever one of these you like best. I like the Post Patroller here. So I'll show one female and one male. So first of all, right off the rip, if you don't like the NBA theme at all, you can just put no logo. Yeah, there's still a little NBA logo right there. But other than that, there's no real NBA association with these. Now, if you're a huge NBA fan, we can do the NBA ballers. I'm a little disappointed. I thought we could actually put NBA teams on here. I thought I'd be able to click into this and then put the logos, but you can't. There's no official NBA logos. There's no way. I thought that was the whole point of these. Then we've got some Fortnite inspired team names. So the Ravens, which is purple. Then the Cuddle Bears, which is pink. Then the Drift Rifts. That's pretty sweet. I like that. The Court Nightmares. These are actually really clever. And the logos look good, too. The Goat Sticks. That's awesome. Look at this one. The Peelers. The Layup Llamas. Oh, this one's sweet, too. Look at that. The Knights. I love that. And then the Battle Bus Ballers. That's awesome. So let's go with the Knights. We're going to base our combo off the color scheme. So that's black, red, and white. So then you can customize the upper primary color, which I'm assuming is her shirt. Let's see. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like the cell shaded, but this actually looks really clean so far. That's like the most perfect color orange I've ever seen in Fortnite. I might have to design the male skin based around that. That's sweet. Wait a minute. If that's white... And this is none. What? That's got to be teal. It shouldn't say none. All right, so let's go with a black primary color. And then the upper secondary, I'm assuming, is the belt and the side there. Let's just double check that. Here's white. Okay, so it's not the belt. It's just under the arm. Now let me just put a white right there. I might have to modify this a bit. Upper tertiary is warm yellow, so that must be the outline. Let's see. Yep, so that makes it all, ooh, that makes it all white there. I might do that. Well, let's see what red looks like. Hold on. Oh, man, that's pretty sweet, too. There's rose. 
or Rosé, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Super. And let's go with white for now. Okay, so that's all you can customize on the front part. Then you can customize the hat. Okay, so maybe a forward-facing hat is going to be better. So primary color, let's make red. Cap secondary, what is this? The back side there? That's the only thing that changes the Velcro strap right there. Holy smokes. Well, let's make that white, I guess. Okay. Wait, tertiary? Hold on, what does this change? Oh, that's the underside of the cap. Look at that. Barely can see it, but it changed orange. I guess we'll make that black. Okay. Moving on, we got the pants, the lower primary. So let's turn those red. Oof. Okay, so maybe black is going to be best down there. So we might have to modify the jersey a little bit. Lower secondary is one of the stripes. Let's put that white. Put that one white. Do we want a double white stripe? So whatever one you do tertiary here, you're probably going to want to do for the top as well. And then lastly, we can do the shoes. Primary is pink, so let's make these red. That's sweet. Secondary is black. That looks good. Let's do the tertiary white. Oh, yeah, look at those. I would totally wear those. That's awesome. Okay, so let's fix our tertiary for the shirt and make that red. Oh, that's rose. There we go. Look at that. Amazing. And the back of the shirt displays the logo as well. So this is really good for customization. I like this. Okay, so that is our female skin. Now let's modify the board crasher. He's the only male skin with a forward-facing hat. So what should we make him? Let's see. I really wanted to do a yellow color, but then I saw that orange. So let's see if we can do an orange color. You know what? Let's just do these because that'll match the back bling as well. So we're going in with the orange here. Oh my gosh, that looks so awesome. Hold on, let me just see what color the back bling is. He's orange and red. Uh, I don't know about that. I guess we could do black, orange, and red. It'd be like a Halloween skin, maybe. So let's put orange up there. Secondary, let me see what black looks like. Uh, maybe white for that. No, that looks a little weird, too. Let's try it with black. There's a little bit of white in there, too. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. We're trying to match the logo, so... All right, for the hat, we'll make that orange as well. Mixed with a little bit of black right there. Oh, wait, you can't even see the strap on him because his hair covers it. Okay. Well, then the underside will make white. Or should that be black? Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll do white. Okay. Then for the pants, let's do primarily orange. And we'll get some pinstripes there. Should we do all black or a little bit of white in there too? Let's see. Okay, so the secondary changes the belt. Which one looks better there? I don't know. Okay, that adds a little bit to the belt as well. Oh man, there's so much customization here. I think we'll do that. That's not bad. Now for the shoes, should we primarily make those orange as well? Wow, orange and blue looks good too. I'm going to have fun making some of these skins. All right, hold on, let's make those black down there. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, how's that? That is our Goat Sticks Board Crasher. Now some of the presets do look good, like this guy right here, the Tray Specialist. I like that light blue. This guy is part of the Peely Squad. So they did try to match some of these already. The NBA one looks pretty solid. So I just wanted to confirm that we did get NBA skins in the past. Yeah, look, you could pick your actual team. Really curious why we can't do that with the new ones. Especially with the NBA playoffs going full force. Who do you guys think is going to be in the finals this year? I really wanted to see the Suns advance pretty far, but it looks like the Timberwolves are going to smoke them. Lakers still surviving. Not eliminated yet. I think most people assume the Nuggets are going to just repeat this year, but eventually they're going to have to play the Thunder. We'll see how that goes. I'm hoping the Pacers or the Knicks make it into the Eastern Finals. We'll see. Anyway, back to the skins. 
So for our glider, we could do the hang time glider if you have it. That makes perfect sense. I think that might be the only basketball glider in the game. Well, our color scheme is black, white, and red, but remember it's cell shaded. So you really want a cell shaded wrap. Otherwise it's gonna look kind of dumb. Now we do have the customizable banner bearer wrap, so that might work best. Let's make it red, see how that looks. Okay, so it looks like it's mixed with white already and it's like a bluish gray maybe. Now we also have the blasted wrap, which I think is gonna look great as well. Okay, here we go, the hang time glider. That actually fits really nicely. Not too shabby. Let's see the deploy one more time. This was just in the shop too the other day. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that the back bling does have that animation regardless. So that must not be the reactivity because that looks just like animation. Let's check out the pickaxe first. So listen to the pullout sound, it's unique. So it literally sounds like a basketball going right through the net. Nothing but net sound, it's amazing. And the fact that it's a chain net, really cool. How about when we swing it? Again, the same nothing but net sound. That's awesome. There's nothing more satisfying than getting a clean shot off like that. And the chain net does have some nice physics. So it looks like that is always red and blue. So it kind of matches the character as well. I wonder how he's reactive. Let's do an emote real quick and see. Let's take a look from the front. Ah, okay, so that's how he's reactive. Just emoting. He got the squinty eyes. So let's do the dunk. What kind of face is that? <laughs> I don't know. That's so weird. So it looks like he's got the normal eyes. He's got the smug looking face, like, are you kidding me? Then back to the normal eyes. And then when you emote, he gets the crazy eyes. Like he's super excited, but they got all squinty. Okay, well, we'll test with eliminations as well. So here's the first wrap, that's not bad. Pretty cool, that actually matches really nice. Here's the secondary one, that's good too. So the hair on this one, definitely not my favorite. She's got like one long strand on the right there. Is that how her hair looked in the locker? I don't remember it looking like that. Hmm. Well, it looks pretty good regardless. Let's take a look from the front. Okay. Yeah, her hair kind of looks strange to me. I just don't remember it looking like that. Outfit wise, this is pretty good. I think we did a good job with the black, white, and red. Love the shoes. Let's see if there's a splash. Uh, what is falling off? I see like a blackish color scheme of something flying off. I can't tell what that is. Can someone let me know in the comments? What's the black stuff falling off? What is that? I can't really tell. I don't know. All right, let's take a look in the dark. Remember the cell shaded skins get light in the dark? Yeah, it's kind of weird. From the front. Here's the pickaxe. See the emote in the dark too? Bam! That's a really cool emote for sure. All right, let me take the back bling off. So here's no back bling. Yeah, I think that's pretty good as well. All right, let's check out our Board Crashers male skin. That's not too bad either. It actually fits the theme. Nice. So his hair is not as obstructive as the female was. So basically that's what you're looking for. When you pick your skin, look at their face and look at their hair. I guess the hat too. I'm a sucker for this orange color scheme. It looks really, really good. Let's take a look from the front. Check that out. I love that he has an armband. I didn't even notice that. I wonder if that was part of the color scheme. That's cool. Again, aim down sights is really clean here. And we already saw the pickaxe. Let's see what he looks like in the dark. So I'll show gameplay on this guy in game, just because I showed the female a little more in the review here. So let's go hop into a match, take a look. We'll get in the limb, see if this back bling does anything. Here we go, let's go check it out. Oh crap, there's a guy right there, but that might be a bot. Okay, that 100% is a bot, thank goodness. Sounds like they're both bots. It sounds like they're pickaxing each other. 
Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Okay, so he is reactive to a limbs as well. You can see he's got that smug face. Interesting. So that's awesome. A double reactivity to emotes as well as eliminations. I'm not going to lie. I did not see that coming, but I'll take it. And healing. Holy smokes. He's super reactive. Hold on. Let's splash up again. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if dealing damage did it as well. How about from a barrel? Yeah, and he heals. Wow. So I'll have to try taking damage as well as dealing damage too. How about opening an ammo box? Nope. How about opening a chest? Yes. Wow. This is crazy. Lots of reactivity on this backplane. Of course, he does the same thing every time, but still. Okay, this guy's clearly a bot because I just heard him fighting for like 10 minutes. Yeah, look at him. He's stuck on the mountain. Come down here, sir. Okay, so he doesn't look like he gets that face when you... Oh, look, he gets angry when you take damage. That's an angry face. Wait, was someone else shooting me? Okay, so what about when you deal damage? So it didn't look like there was anything for dealing damage, just for taking damage. Looks like yet another bot. All right, let's deal some damage and see if it reacts. Nope, just by taking damage though. Let's hit him with the pickaxe. Nice. Nothing but bots so far in this lobby. This is not a bot lobby. There are people with crowns in this lobby. I don't know why there's nothing but bots so far, but I'll take it for this review. I think it's too early in the morning. No real players are on. So again, I know a lot of people don't like cell shading and the anime effect, but you can't tell me this doesn't look pretty clean. This is a really great looking skin. Maybe it's just the combo I designed. I don't know, but I am super impressed with this. With that said, there are a few huge drawbacks to the skin. Number one, the NBA team logos. Like I said, you can't customize them. You can only put these fake logos on. You can put the official NBA logo on, but that's it. You can't do any teams from the NBA. Number two, you can't customize the hat. Like I said, this is the only male skin with a forward hat. I think you should be able to either put it forward facing, reverse it, or take it off completely. But every skin has a hat on. So if you don't like the hat, you're stuck with it. With that said, though, it is customizable, so I can see why they did it. And lastly, number three, you can't turn the cell shading off. We've had that option before. So if a lot of people hate the cell shading, there's no way to turn it off. I'm not sure why they excluded that, especially since most cell shaded skins come with it now. So those are my only complaints. Everything else about the skin is actually really good. I love the customization. I love that the back bling is super, super reactive. And the pickaxe is absolutely amazing too. And lastly, the emote is beautifully well done. I love this. It might actually be better than the original dunk on him, which is also pretty good. So there you go. Despite the three huge drawbacks to this skin, I honestly think it's a really, really good customizable NBA skin. If nothing else, I 100% recommend the pickaxe as well as the emote. The emote is absolutely fire. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Remember, they come to the item shop tomorrow night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabletop.